The biggest challenge that we've identified here is that many of these people who are, who are detained arbitrarily are in incommunicado detention for prolonged periods. They're not charged with any recognizable criminal offense, and there is no trial. Uh, and w this opens it up to torture, to disappearance, to enforced uh, disappearances, to extrajudicial <coughs> executions. And uh, many of these cases need urgent investigation. Amnesty International also interviewed witnesses uh, and uh, family members uh, who described seeing people uh, shot by security forces and uh, people who were clearly no threat to life, like who were lying down on the ground or who had their hands raised, who were shot and killed. But reacting to the report, the Nigerian police says even though it is deeply concerned about the research methodology adopted by Amnesty in compiling its report, it has begun a comprehensive and critical study of the report with a view to establishing its veracity. We are taking um, the report very seriously and we will study them, analyze them and then come up with reforms indeed if, if they are necessary to actually um, affirmative actions and reforms if necessary to correct um, any anomaly that might have been noticed. But again, this can only come after you must have done a thorough study, a thorough analysis of this report. Amnesty International believes the Nigerian government and its laws are capable of ensuring that the fight against the insurgents are done without the alleged attendant abuse to the rights of its citizens. It wants the Nigerian government to continue to take effective steps to protect its citizens from what it calls the Boko Haram's campaign of terror in the northern part of the country. But this must be done within the boundaries of the rule of law and international national treaties on human rights protection.